Elon Musk visited Amber Heard late at night while Johnny was away. They were also caught on camera together in the elevator of the building, getting a little bit handsy. It's my brain, and my heart. I don't know what I did. Had anyone brought this to your attention? No, I, I was just looking at it. Um, what I can say is that at the time, I trusted that he wouldn't do anything that would put me in harm's way. Why does he refuse to talk about his past? Yeah, and why does he refuse to talk about his personal life? Like, what's he hiding? Even the most golden among us, I mean, they have stellar careers. But if you look at the other areas of their lives, you'll see where their demons manifest themselves. Who's Grimes? What's her deal? Yeah, she's kind of weird. Well, I shouldn't say too much because I don't want to get anyone in trouble, but he also runs the cult that I'm um, in. He called a diver of the Thai cave rescue a p***o, as in p file. He sold 20,000 flamethrowers online and smoked during a podcast. Do we even got? Okay, we need to get to the bottom of who Elon Musk really is. Nobody knows him better than his first wife, Justin Wilson. I met him when uh, I was 18, he was 19. We were at college. My fear is that we become spoiled brats, that we lose a sense of appreciation and um, perspective. He told me that when he was a kid, he hated going to school because the other kids liked to follow him home and they would throw soda cans at his head. I thought I was insane. Why did you think you were insane? Because it was clear that other people did not. Their mind wasn't exploding with ideas. You, they, they wouldn't understand I hope, you? I hope they wouldn't find out, because they might like put me away or something. You thought that? For a second, yes. So he was aware that he was different? Yeah. He revealed on SNL that he has Asperger's Syndrome. I'm actually making history tonight as the first person with Asperger's to host SNL. What's that? Asperger's Syndrome is considered to be on the mild end of the autism spectrum. People with AS find social interactions more challenging. What does that mean? It means that it was harder for him to fit in. And people picked up on that. When I was in high school, we called them geeks. And it was not a compliment. When I was a child, there's one thing I said. What is it? I never want to be alone. So he sought refuge in computer games, which got him into coding, which led to the creation of his first company, which he sold by the time he was in his mid-twenties. So, you know, nobody is throwing cans at him now. It's just a moment in my life. <laughs> How many kids did they have? Six. I'm only counting five. I had a son who died at 10 weeks. Um, it was called a SIDS related incident. And I went to Burning Man, I think, six times after that happened. And I had a ritual I would do. And I'd go to the temple of loss. But I always found a place on one of the walls, and I would write Nevada Alexander Musk. He was a good baby. And then they would set the temple on fire. And that ritual was incredibly comforting to me. Did Elon ever talk about it? No. He just threw himself into his work. Creating a company is almost like having a child. So it's sort of like, how do you say your child should not have food? So one, once you have the company, you have to feed it and nurse it. Yeah. And <laughs> take care of it, of it, even if it, it ruins you. Yeah. How did you get through that period of crisis? Yeah. Can we just break for a second? Sure, sure, sure. There need to be things that make you look forward to waking up in the morning. You wake up in the morning, you look forward to the day, you look forward to the future future where we are a space-bearing civilization and out there among the stars, I think that's very exciting. Darkness does not have to mean evil. You know, it can refer to anything that has not yet been brought out into the light, beyond boundaries, beyond our comfort zone, where a lot of us do not want to go. Why did they get divorced? Elon made it clear that he did not want to talk about Nevada's death. He was obsessed with his work. When he was home, his mind was elsewhere. I felt insignificant in his eyes, and I began thinking about what effect our dynamic would have on our five young sons. Elon agreed to enter counseling, but he was running two companies and carrying a planet of stress. 
One month and three sessions later, he gave me an ultimatum. Either we fix this marriage today or I will divorce you tomorrow. He filed for divorce the next morning. I felt numb, but strangely relieved. So he left her? Isn't he afraid of being alone? Listen to this. Six weeks after he filed for divorce, he proposed to English actress Tallulah Riley. Elon proposed really quickly. Um, I'd probably have said yes to anyone that seemed half sensible if they proposed after 10 days, just because it's kind of an interesting thing to do. Um, He moved straight into the house with the children and it became a very real thing immediately. My parents were traumatized by this whole experience. Although there's been so many times that, right, I'm getting on a plane to England and I'm never going to see you again. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, no. No, not really. They divorced three years later, remarried that same year, and divorced again in 2016. And then came even more trouble. Amber Heard. Men categorize women in one of four ways. Mothers, virgins, sluts, and bitches. She was in the middle of her own divorce with Johnny Depp. That's messy. Johnny was attacking me. She threw a vodka bottle at me. He was about to push my sister down the stairs. It smashed. I would have done anything. Bone in here was uh, completely shattered. Amber Heard was offered 24-7 security, arranged by Elon after she told him that she wanted a restraining order against Johnny Depp. Elon really got caught up in the middle of it. And that's when he started acting more and more erratic, unstable, reckless, operatic, doing things that seemed impulsive, un-CEO-ish. I'm just being me. He just seems to be jumping from one relationship to another. Actually, it's called repetition compulsion, where we are unconsciously driven to recreate a certain situation or relationship from the past in an effort to resolve it. Why do you think that is? He opened up to Rolling Stones right after his breakup with Amber Heard. I just broke up with my girlfriend. I was really in love, and it hurt bad. Well, she broke up with me more than I broke up with her. I think. I've been in severe emotional pain for the last few weeks. It's so hard for me to even meet people. I've seen you speak in person, we've watched some of your interviews. Like sometimes you seem visibly sad. No one should put this many hours into work. This is not good. And people should not work this hard. I'm not, they should not do this. This is too, it's very painful. Painful in what sense? Uh, it's, it, hurts my, it hurts my brain and my heart. Here's what the interviewer wrote. I eventually tell him that it may not be a good idea to jump right into another relationship. He may want to take some time to figure out why his previous relationships haven't worked in the long run. If I'm not in love, if I'm not with a long-term companion, I cannot be happy. I explained that needing someone so badly that you feel like nothing without them is textbook codependence. Musk disagrees strongly. It's not true. I'll never be happy without having someone. Going to sleep alone kills me. In this moment, he seems like a child who's afraid of abandonment. And that may be the origin story of Musk's super ambitions. So this implies that somehow he's still that bullied kid afraid of abandonment. What does he need to learn? If I've had a really rough day and I'm like crying, I always make like good music. Like if I'm just like, ah. Uh... Hey, I'm Grimes. You know me as the girl who plays with fire. Ah! But this is the song I roll you in the dark. She's got alien scars tattooed on her back. And she had a speech impediment as a kid and she was severely bullied for it. Just like Elon. I like dark things. I like everything bad. It means good music. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't mind if like shitty things happen to me because then it means I make better art usually. She's showing Elon that there's power in accepting your darkness. You can leverage it. You can create something with it. As creatives, our job is to uncover what lies in the darkness and give it new life, new identity. There are people who learn how to interrogate that darkness instead of being crushed by it. And they use their art and their magic and their tech and their intellect to not only show us who we are in a way that we can understand and accept, but also who we can be. They create new tribes and new worlds that call their people home. The best stories are the ones that we surface from the dark.